for the past week or so, I don't know, for the past few months really, I've been converting uh, cassette tapes, prank call cassette tapes, like original prank call cassette tapes from the 1990s, from the collection of the, the Lars Library, the MC Lars Library. Uh, they're prank call tapes, like really old prank calls, Bay Area prank calls, the Bumbar Bastards, the Michigan phone pranks. They're all regional because back then we couldn't call long distance, you know, Mark Knopfler. So it's going really well. I'm ripping a cassette right now as we speak. Um, the only one I've had a problem with is this one, uh, Phone Fun 2 which I've never heard before. I've heard Phone Fun 1 back in the 90s, but I've never heard of Phone Fun 2. Can't wait to hear this. Uh, the only problem is that right there. There's a, a little thingy that sticks out, a little sponge thingy, and in here it's all, it's all broken. See, it's like, it's come out of there. It sucks. And what's even worse is that this tape doesn't have screws in it for me to unscrew and, you know, fix that easily. That would be so nice if I could do that. So I have gotten permission from MC Lars to basically just break this cassette tape. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I don't even know the best way to do this. Uh, let me get that tape back in there. There we go. That's how you do it. So the point of this is to, um, we're making the biggest prank call archive ever created. Every prank call show, every, uh, you know, every prank call album, commercial, and independent, especially the independent. These 90s tapes are so much, it's been really cool to listen to them, like, as they're, as I'm ripping them and stuff. <laughs> Literally ripping it apart. Uh... Yeah, it's been a lot of fun to hear these. Like, some of them I've heard before, some of them I've never heard before. Oh, God. <laughs> yep, that tape is dead forever. Oh, I forgot they had these little metal things in them. Oh, and that sucks. I got it all, uh, got it all unwound and stuff. So, uh, that's gonna be fun to, to wrap back up. Actually, it shouldn't be too hard. I'm really not supposed to be touching the tape this much, but whatever. Oh, this just sucks that I that it came unwrapped. I should have rewound it before I uh, attempted to take it apart. That would have been the smart thing to do, but you know what? It's been a good decade or so, maybe two, since I've repaired a cassette tape like this. So give me a fucking break, all right? Oh, this is going to be such a pain in the butt. I'm just going to probably remove all of this audio out or speed it up or something. And there we go. We now have a whole complete spool of magnetic tape. Oh my god, I'm messing it up again. What the hell? It's okay. Everything's fine, everybody. I got this. I got this. Alright. Oh. Goes that way. There we go. Okay. We're done. Perfect. Good as new. I'm going to put that on top of there to hopefully keep me from accidentally doing that again. Uh, so, I've got this old cassette tape. Uh, a listener actually sent me these old uh, 90s looking cassette tapes. 
uh, just a couple of years ago. I remember one had Phil Collins on it, and I actually had a cassette player in my car at the time, and I would just drive around listening to an old Phil Collins cassette tape. Nothing weird about that, right? Uh, I don't know if anything's on this one. Uh, another one was labeled something about Donald Trump. And I don't think I listened to that one, because why would I? But I like the cassette tapes that have five screws holding them together for easy repair. Uh, 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 let's see. We're going to put the screws right there. There's the fifth screw. And now, here's the part where I'm just going to fuck up again and probably, uh... See, I don't care about this tape. We're, we, we don't care what happens with that. I can unspool that all day. Well, no, let's not do that. That's going to... I'm probably just going to make a mess and cause problems. All right, so now I have to try and pick up this spool without without messing it up too bad. Urgh. Keep in mind that I do have my cell phone camera right in front of my face, so I'm doing this around that. So if you think I'm an idiot and I can't handle this, uh, that's part of the reason why. All right, this isn't a problem. Everything's fine. Just a little, little slip up there. No big deal. Holy shit, man. What is my problem today? We got this. We got this. All right. Oh man, I, I, I messed up more than I realized. There we go. Now we got this. I have heard some really incredible pranks from the 90s these past couple weeks since I've um, really gotten into, uh, you know, finally converting all these cassette tapes. They've just been sitting here for a while because the tape player that I had before it um, it stopped working. It was like an old 80s or I don't know at least very early 90s cassette deck. I got it because I thought it looked cool uh, but apparently that was a mistake because it, uh, it just kind of stopped working. Wouldn't play things correctly. I don't know what happened to it. I couldn't fix it. I mean I didn't even know where to begin. So uh, I threw that one away. I finally found a new one at a thrift store. And it's going well so far. Like, I am ripping something right now. I'm ripping the, uh, what's it called? The, the Cretans Cranks? Cretans? Is that what that says? The Cretans Cranks? And there's the handwritten label for the Cretans Cranks. Tylenol Headache. Beat Mags. <laughs> uh, with Big Debbie. Life in the Big City. Yeah, I've never heard of the, the Cretans Cranks before. Uh, I would, I can turn it on right now. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I turn it on and there's just amazing things happening. For the most part, I've been, I've left it completely silent. I think I've got it in there. I think I can replace this now. And then check to make sure I didn't pinch any tapes or whatever. That looks good. Oh, no, see, I got a little bit of the tape like over the over the top of the plastic. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. That's no good. Okay. So I just gotta slip that back in there. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. <laughs> I had it. I had it. I had everything done perfectly, except that one little thing. What really sucks is uh, screwing, around with, screwing around with VHS tapes like this. Respooling those. Those are a big pain in the ass. I've done a few of those before. Alright, I may or may not have gotten it. It's really hard for me to see. I don't have good lighting in here. 
Uh, I think that's good. Uh, I wish I had a pencil or something. What about this? Will this do it? No. Just gotta do it with my fingers. Just spin it around, and yeah, yeah, it's spinning. Seems to be spinning just fine. Right? Yeah, yeah, there it goes. So yeah, yeah, all done. We now have a functioning, uh, what's it called again? Phone Fun? Phone Fun 2 tape. I am positive this will work just fine. Surprisingly, uh, that's the only tape that I've had that problem with. Uh, MC Lars sent me, um, I don't know, something like 30 to 40 cassette tapes from his collection. Um, I only got a few of them done at first. Uh, then I was, it was very slow going after that. Then my cassette tape, cassette deck broke. And uh, it took me forever to find a new one at the thrift store. Which was surprising. I, I thought deck, cassette decks would be easy to find. But no, they were not. But, uh, you know, just this week, this week alone, I have gotten just, just a ton of them done. Uh, I took pictures of all the cassettes, you know, I scanned in the album artwork. I mean, not artwork, but, you know, the, the track lists. I, I scanned all this in on a scanner, so uh, you'll be able to look at the track list for each one. I'm not converting the, the pranks into individual tracks. It's basically just going to be side A and side B. So see, it looks a little uh, wrinkled in there, but it'll be fine after I rewind it. Uh, you know, and it just... After uh, it gets played, all that wrinkled stuff will be on the bottom of this one, and it, it'll all straighten up. I am sure of it. Everything's fine. Everything's just fine. I just keep telling myself that. But anyway, I'm going to be done with these, with uh, ripping these prank call tapes um, right now. As of right now, uh, there's two of them that I don't think I have to rip. I think I have those already. And the four that I have left, I mean, I'm, I'm ripping Cretan's Cranks right now. These are the four that I have left. The Bay Area uh, Bum Bar Bastards. I don't think I need to rip that. I think I have several versions of that from CDs or whatever. Uh, I have Mark Knopfler. I don't know who, who Hugh Man is. But yeah, basically, I'm going to be done with this today or tomorrow. Uh, then I have a record. Oh, let me see if I can find that. Yeah, here it is. This record. It's uh, Longmont Potion Castle. It's a it's a vinyl. I can't even uh, get it all on there. But yeah, this is a vinyl record of Longmont Potion Castle. It's a album that apparently is only available on vinyl. Uh, but not for long. You know that. You know what? <laughs> Longmont Potion Castle. This is going to be on the internet. What are you going to do about it, motherfucker? And we have the entire collection of Longmont Potion Castle. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so cool to have. This is just going to be a really great archive. Here. This, this is going to be like um, ASMR, but for the eyes. Just, just, just wait till you see what I'm up to here. Are you guys ready? Get, get ready for this. Oh, you didn't even see me doing that. I had it off camera. Okay, get ready. Uh, here it comes. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that unspool. We, we gotta watch this whole thing unspool. Oh, come on. Unspool faster than that. Oh, come on. I thought it would be faster. If, if I had this higher up, there'd be more weight on that tape. And it would unspool much faster. Maybe if I spin it. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll spin it. I'll spin it around. Make it all in the spool, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Today's background art was provided by uh, Nick Caesar. He does amazing drawings for the for the phone losers and for everybody else. He did this one for Dwight. It's a Pokemon Dwight, a Dwightymon, a Dwighty, <laughs> yeah, Dwightymon. Good job on that one, Nick Caesar. Oh, come on, come on. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my camera off this little stand thing. We're gonna make this happen. God damn it. 
So, um, yeah, before that, so right now, this is my uh, recording setup. Uh, there's the big pop-up that says, hey, you, I am Adobe, and you have pirated software on your computer. You better fix that, or else you've got 10 days to, to, to make that not pirated anymore. I think I can do that. Uh, this right here, these are the tapes that I have converted over the past uh, just one day, maybe two. And that's my new cassette deck. It's a dual cassette deck. There's another one behind there. Those are the tapes that I have left to convert. I don't think I need to convert those two. I think I have those already. So I just have those, and I'll be all finished. It's going to be great. All right. Um, prepare to make fun of my carpet. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. There we go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, you can't even see it on the carpet, can you? Because my carpet's just puke colored. Yeah. <laughs> Unspool. Unspool, you bitch. Yeah, there we go. See how much better that's unspooling this time? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Oh, this is taking forever. God damn these 90-minute cassette tapes. I am making quite the mess on the floor, though. It's hard to tell, but I really am. Maybe if I go higher up, it'll unspool faster. Yep, it is. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you can't even see it in front of the window. We're almost there, everyone. And then this, this whole thing's over. Oh, yeah, and I have one more cassette to convert that you didn't see in that pile over there. That would be Phone Fun 2, which we just repaired. And I'm sure the repair went perfectly. Oh, come on. Come on. Almost there. You can do it. Oh, no. Oh, no, it's stuck. Unstick. What, what the hell? Okay, it was just the last little bit was stuck. All right. There's a big old mess of... Magnetic cassette tape stuff that I'm going to throw straight in the trash. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching my uh, cassette tape repair video for the day. Have a nice day. Bye. Oh, my gosh. I almost forgot the most important part of repairing a cassette tape. I got to label the cassette tape. They spell fun with a PH because, I don't know why, because they're, they're fucking rebels. And that's what they do. Ah, god damn it, I just realized they spell phone with a F. So I messed this up, and look at this, on this one, I don't know what that's supposed to say, but I'm just going to write over it, phone fun, god damn rebellious kids and their misspellings two phone fun two side B uh, hopefully that was actually oh crud I might be labeling this backwards because it looks like I had it upside down So I think this is side A. Yeah. And and this is side B. I could be wrong. I guess I'll I'll find out after I rip it. But there we go. A fully restored cassette tape of phone fun. I can remove this post-it. Look, it's even got a track list in there, all fancy and typewritten. There we go. You're welcome, Lars, when you get this back that I've <laughs> destroyed the original.